Um, what was it the first gave you the idea to make the YouTube videos? Um, a combination of things really. I've, I've had the idea in my head for a while. iTunes have a lot of um, university material on there, and I was getting into that. I'm actually an engineer, not a physics teacher, so oh, are you? I'm just I'm pretending. I hope nobody finds out. <laughs> but um, I try to learn a bit of, bit of the sort of high level physics, and the, the university lectures are always quite good to look at. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that's kind of that side of the point of view, but the YouTube videos I made up myself, it was literally just a, a brainwave in the car one day and driving to work and thinking, right, I've got, I've got a higher class, I've got semiconductors coming up, it's really boring. You know, I did it as a, as a degree, but I, how can I explain this? And I really fuck in my head, just make up a video. You know, so, so, so you were fear in a way maybe that you wouldn't get this hour to the, the wanes, you had to do something yeah, to make it interesting. It's, I mean, some, some, when you teach the course and you know certain things are coming up, you realise how do, I, how do I make this interesting? Because it can be really dry, but it's going to be examinable, so you need to make it, mm -hmm. include it. And I thought, right, how can I do it? And it was actually um, Mr. Galloway, one of the teachers down the corridor, he used the, the Britney Spears Guide to Semiconductors. Um, he told me about it, and it was really just university notes with her face at the side, and I thought, well, you know, if it's something different, uh, and kids will say, yeah, I'm using the British Spears Guide to Semiconductors. And I thought, well, what, about, what can I do different? And in the car, literally just one day, I said, Glasgow Physics, you know, teach physics as you would if you were a broad class region. Uh -huh. And then it just started snowballing from there. And uh, I was asking people, you know, think of a good, <laughs> I say the word Ned, I shouldn't use the word Ned, but give me a good Ned name. <laughs> you know, give, give me, give me some background. I need a background story behind this character, and it just kind of snowballed and it went from there. Mm -hmm. And do you make the videos yourself? You put them together, or do you get other folk in to do that? It's all me. It's all you. It's all me. Oh, well, I'm impressed. Um, even the music at the beginning, that's self, you got self written. A, you got a wee Casio organ. Yeah, uh, no, it? I've got. I, I used to, I used to DJ and stuff, and um, I was on Glasgow Uni Radio mm -hmm. for a few years, so I get really into music and writing, just creating edits and stuff for like beds for the radio shows or background music. Okay. And I had some software and I just threw it together in five minutes and that was that. As, as easy as that? Is it, I mean, well, you, yeah. you do a video, are you days or weeks or? <sighs> um, annoyingly, it's quite a long time now. Uh -huh. um, the first one I made up, um, I kind of ad-libbed it. So I had a, there was one of the, there's a company called Flash Learning, and they kindly gave me their animations to use. I said, right, I'm going to annotate it and just speak over it. And I kind of added it and that was fine and it took a few days. But the more I go on, the more I want to push myself mm. and make it bigger and better and try and make it funnier. And I started doing more of the visual gags as well as trying to speak. Mm -hmm. So I've got some, trying to, trying to put language in, or Glaswegian language in the text as well. Mm -hmm. Only, I think only Glaswegians will get it because they know how to say the word. Mm -hmm. They could just look rubbish on the, on the screen. So uh, I'm trying to make it bigger and bigger and better and grander, mm -hmm. but it does take a while now. Um, and I have to write it out. Right, so I can, can, can I, I script it? I do, I just do script I've got one on my computer um, ready to record any time now. Uh -huh. But it takes me a while to, see, it's a balance act between teaching the physics. Uh -huh. You know, at its heart, it still is a physics lecture. Uh -huh, you know, I don't want to make a Glasgow slang lecture uh -huh. um, with a bit of physics. It is physics and then the rest of it comes on uh -huh. but it takes a while to script it and to make it teachable as well uh -huh. you know can the kids learn from this hopefully they can and it's, there's a, a coherent lecture structure which is it's dressed so up so it has to day. fit in with the curriculum yes uh -huh. that, that was there's all it has to tick boxes yeah mm -hmm. i always started with higher physics um, and we're doing the new higher this year which is like the change but my philosophy always was don't sort of uh, dumb down the, the physics. Mm -hmm. You know, if it's a high level concept, that's it. You know, the, the one of my second ones, I coined a little phrase, um, cat versus crossbow, which is my Glasgow take on the monkey and the hunter, which is a classic physics problem, which people do struggle with. Um, that was my little twist on it. But I mean, the concept is still there, the physics is still there. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. the delivery of it was the, the Glasgow slang of it. I hear what sounds like different voices to me, but is that just you? It's all me. It's all you. And, uh, literally, anything you see, anything you hear is, is all me. Um, I'm kind of proud of it. 
I do, I do. Um, the whole class. The weird thing is, the whole Glasgow voices. I, I went to school in in uh, Mary Hill in Glasgow. I just up north Mary Hill, so I was around that all day. And that's the thing you do when you when you go to school, you want to fit in, mm. and you do find yourself getting into that. You know, maybe you're changing the way you were spoken home to. Mm. You get a school voice. Mm-hmm. And all this, all this slang and all that, and it comes, you know, just the, does that your voice goes from your, your throat to your nose, and it comes through <laughs> your nose and all that, and it does come out from time to time. Uh-huh. Um, so I find that I find it easy to slip back into that voice, mm-hmm. but doing the different voices is just it's trying to make a character. Mm-hmm. I found myself falling about when I was listening to this voice you had, it was a man who owned Hooten Nuke Glasgow using Google. Yeah. And this piece points just to I respond about. But at the same time, I find myself learning things about a nuclear blast. Yeah. <laughs> well, that wee animation I've had it for years and I've always wanted to put it in and I and I've got screen capture software just to record it and I check to the people. Um but that little character he's supposed to be my technical assistant. So Baldo is the lecturer, then I have every lecturer has a little technical assistant or a technician and smudge. Smudge. Just him. Oh, yeah. And um the voice of smudge is I came about just to the back of the throat. You know, I thought I'd do the back of the throat like that, you know. Um, the bad is more nasal and you know, on your face and smudges like that. It's just, I don't know how it comes from, just, I'm not murdered to any family members, so I just... I it's actually that. funny, it's the way it's that, um, speaking about something as serious as a nuclear bomb, and it's that matter of fact, the way the voice comes out of. This is what happens, by the way. So we're alright in you. <laughs> now, what does the Wayne's make of them, the videos? I'd, I think there's still a level of, because uh, the, the kids here know me, I don't think it's cool to like something your teacher does. Right. I think there's still that distance here. And what I found, crazily enough, and I first put it on, we have a little mailing list for physio teachers, which you know sounds really sad, and it probably is quite sad. But I just posted the link on YouTube there and kind of spread around the physics community. It sounds awful saying that. And it kind of spread around the schools and teachers and then they started passing it on. Um, so it's actually kids in other schools I get a lot of feedback from. Uh-huh. So, so this is something you start to do sending to other teachers first in other schools? I did it for my class initially. Uh-huh. I said, right, I've got one class, I've got 20 higher pupils, they're great, they'll get it. They'll think it's funny because I talk most of them for like four years and they know they kind of get what I'm doing. And I said, I'm going to show it to them and that's it. Because in YouTube open to anyone mm-hmm. and I just thought oh, I'll just send a link you know, people who always post oh, I've done this this bit of work here's a link to it use it if you want I said here's a bit of work I've done there's a link to it mm-hmm. make of it what you will um, and does it, the Waynes at the school here generally speak the Glasgow dialect that you show that, you, that, that they hear in the videos um, do they find they identify with it yes they do uh, 